What's up, everyone? This is Argon Matrix. Welcome you to episode 8 of the Super Mario RPG Legend of Awesome. No! Ah, yeah, screw you. No, don't defend. Run away. Thank you, Mallow. Alright, so last time we went to a restricted zone. Oh my god. And now we're gonna save, because we can. Alright, um, we'll save in that one. Yeah. Because we're cool like that. Anyways, let's ha head down the pipe that we're really supposed to go down. Oh my god. What is that thing? I'm scared. No, run away. Yeah, you can actually go back up if you're not prepared for this, but I think I am, other than the fact that I should equip my true form pin. Because this is actually the boss of the area. So, say hello to... Th this must be... Boom! And Al just like circles him and the guy's just standing there with his tongue out. It's like a statue. Is that a fire hose or his tongue? <laughs> oh my god, he's moving. Moho! It's a snack attack, and you're it! Oh my god. And the th third boss fight, I think, of this game. Fourth, if you include Bowser, but I don't really include Bowser. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is Balloon. He's like some weird cat thing. Uh, this is not his last appearance in the game. It is his first, just not his last. Alright, so here's how the stoop for jump work. Oh, that was terrible. You know what? It's because I was trying to explain it at the same time that I was doing it. Ooh, room surface is unkind to me. Where's my bib? And he licks Mallow for zero damage. Wow. All right, let's try this again. The super jump basically you press Y whenever Mario lands on, lands on the enemy again. And oh my God, why do I suck at that? It's not only two jumps. I swear to you. All right, yeah, whatever. Lick Mario. All right, we're gonna try this again. Come on. What? Whoa! What the f- Why do I suck at that so much? Now, I used to be able to do it like 20 million times in the- Well, not 20 million, fine. C can't stand it! The hunger! The hunger! Oh my god, he ate Mallow! Holy shit. Well, he is a marshmallow, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Yeah, basically the super jump, you can do that pretty much infinite times if you get the timing down packed, which apparently I didn't. Because I'm a noob. Sick for a boss. Eddie, body, head full of straw. Give me a scarecrow. Rah, rah, rah. Scrow funk. Scarecrow funk? No! He hit me with this super star beam thing and it didn't do anything because I have the true form pin on. Yeah. Basically, if you didn't have the true form pin on, then you would uh, be turned into a scarecrow there and not be able to do anything. You, know, you would actually be able, still be able to do magic attacks, but whatever. That was scary! Yeah, it would be scary inside the belly of a whale. Except it's not a whale. It's a cat. An awesome looking cat. I'd have that cat as a pet. Wouldn't you? It's so cute. Oh my god. It's got like swirls and stars on its body. Alright. Super drop again. Go! One, two. What? Really? I am terrible. I must be doing something wrong. I don't know. Sleep sauce. No, that's not awesome sauce. And Mallow falls asleep like a nub cake. Come on. There we go. That was at least a little bit better. Oh my god. Okay, now let's just hammer away at his face. Get your face out of my place. What? Sleep sauce on something that's already sleeping? That's really pointless, buddy. Alright, come on. If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. But where the flood? Oh, and then he's dead. I forgot that was his ending line. Thank God. Yeah, see, not too hard of a boss. I think Croco is probably harder than that. But who knows? Ooh, my hello grew to level six. Yay. And learn Psychopath. I believe that just lets you, like, read the enemy's mind. It's not really too useful. Right, three, four, five, six. Awesome. So that was fun. And Balloon just vanishes. Balloon must have be been lying when he said the water would come gushing out of here. He said that? I must have missed that. I get all I heard was be weird flood. Or Mario, do you hear something? Or is it just me? Uh, no, I think... Water! Oh my god, water! Here it comes. Quick, Mario, hit the button. We're, we're, Mallow! I trusted you. You should have kept down that freaking button. Oh my god. What an idiot. And somehow that thrusts us out into a waterfall, which is actually a mini game. Check this out. 
This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? No, because I know how to do this. Right, basically, um, so yeah, you can collect like a bunch of coins here. There's even some frog coins, as you can see. And uh, you can swim up by pressing the B button repeatedly like that. And uh, don't go into any of these caves that are here because they will completely mess you up. You'll like miss a bunch of coins and stuff. This is actually a pretty good opportunity to get foin co foins. No, coins. Especially frog coins. One of the best places to get frog coins, really. Alright. Yeah. And I like the music here, too. You can like barely hear it, but it's still awesome. I think we'll be able to hear it better later. Yes, I picked the right path where the frog coin is. Sweetness. All right. Yeah. Basically, if you t if you go in one of the caves that are along this waterfall, then you'll be expelled out somewhere else, like in the from another cave. All right. Now for the barrel jump barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Uh, no thanks. Ready? All right. Basically, here is how this goes. Um, you can like jump up with B to get coins and stuff, and um. If your barrel, the barrel that you're riding hits another barrel, as you've seen, you, like, go off to the side, but, um, hot oh, damn it, but if you jump at the right moment, you can land on the next barrel, just like that, and try and get coins like that. It gets a little bit harder in, this, in a little bit, like, fish will start jumping at you, and if you let them hit you, then you lose coins, and that sucks. Oh my god, yeah, see what I mean? That sucks a lot. And there's no frog coins here, so no worries. This is this one is harder than the waterfall, in my opinion. Holy shit. Oh no, I should have jumped there. Damn it. And I should not have jumped there. But I'm not gonna jump. Oh my god. Stupid fish, and I love how the music speeds up. Which is awesome. Wow, oh my god. Wow, I'm an idiot. Alright. There we go, now I got some decent coinage. Alright. Let's see, how did we do- Oh my god, ow! And I land on the freaking toad's head. You got 38 coins. Trading coins from you got from Minus River for the frog coins. The f As a first time bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones that tap along and got more infill on them. You got 38 coins, yeah, it's not enough. Come back and try again. And we can keep a, no a knock knock shell. That reminds me of Noki Bay. That's from Super Mario Sunshine. That's cool. I believe that's an item for Mario. Let's see. Yeah, sweetness. Alright, um, we're going to put back on Mario's jump shoes, and we're done. Alright, so that was a boring episode, or half episode, or whatever you want to call it. It's probably going to be a half episode, because this is only at 8 minutes right now, and I'm ending it. Because, like I said, I need this to be a really short recording session. Okay, everyone, so, oh my god, almost 100 frames dropped. Well, hopefully, it looks like it's gradual, but who knows. So, in the next episode, we are going to do more crap. Alright, so, thank you everyone for watching these boring episodes of the freaking Kuro Sewers. I really don't like the Kuro Sewers, it's one of my least favorite areas in the game, but we got it done, yeah! Alright, so this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.